All right, I'm with our judge of the hills, Rusty. And you are going to show us the two that are down here. Right. So um, I don't have the artist names. I, was, I selected these by, by numbers, so I'm going to tell you the numbers. So this is 27B. 27B was um, first place. It's felt. And when um, I was giving you my des description and my overview, um, it's, it's the way of the textures and the way that they use the wispy and then really came in tight. That mouse could be a, a photograph, it could be a painting, and the color shifts. It's just, it's just a complete package of well done. This wispy brings me up. I feel like um, the night, the night's coming up. I'd like to know what the mouse is singing. The mouse is just singing. It's beautiful. Or yawning. Or yawning. It's night. Yeah. All the mice are active at night. Or it could so. be howling, howling at the moon as if it was a wolf. I don't know. But but I just I felt this this connection that they had and, and I would sing. So not that I do, but, but I would. And that's a novel medium. With it's the, it the is. Felting. Um it's not it's not um commonly at least the, my experience, you don't see a lot of it. You see things felted, but to do it in a, um, a 2D like this is pretty, pretty interesting for me. And the, the shifts, the shifts of the blending of the colors. Is, if this would be a beautiful piece, it was a painting. It would be a beautiful piece if it could be cra captured in a photograph. It, whatever medium this would be done in, this could be just as beautiful. So it's not just the medium. All right. Then this one. So this is thirty two A. Now I didn't look at any of the titles, so I can't tell you what it's called. And it's a digital photography. And it's not something that I have a lot of experience with, so then I take it into the realm of the elements of design, composition, tension, and so on. So just as with the felt piece, it would be beautiful in whatever medium they've, they've pulled it together in. So here it's, it's um, the light and dark. This, uh, this wasn't digital, I'm mistaken. I think this was um, dark room. Dark room, I'm developed. I said digital, but I'm wrong. Classical um, photography. This what? Classical photography. I would think so. Not that, not that I know a lot about that either. But I love the light and the dark. And I talk about tension a lot. But this, whatever this foreground thing is right there, it connects the two. We're not, we're not looking at the light and the dark separately, but rather we have this bridge that's here. The other thing that I thought that this artist did really well is that um, I would have, I probably would have had a feeling that it was a little bit pedestrian if this face had been turned and they were somehow facing each other. But I like that we're coming here and then in this darkness, this person is looking at us, although we can barely see them. I feel like there's a strong narrative here. Composition is great. We have this, we have this division that I almost don't even notice because the way this is connected here, that almost goes to the back. I love the way these colors blend right into the darkness. It just when I talk about pushing a medium, this is one of them. And it's, it's just well thought out so that the piece is harmonious, yet we have light and dark. We have, we have reflective, we have bold. It's just, just a lot of really interesting little, little subtle shifts in it. And uh, anyway, that's why, that's why I sele um, selected this one to be the, um, the, um, the second place. Second place, Second okay. Place, yeah. And we have third and grand prize upstairs. Upstairs. Mm -hmm. So we'll go up there and take a look at those. A lot of times people wonder how can you have, how can you judge a show when it has so many mediums? Because these, you have, when you have so many mediums, you think it's apples to oranges, you know, but it really isn't because the elements of designs exist. Um, in all pieces. So for a 3D piece, uh, you look at the spatial relationship that it's around because we all assign space around an object. So how does that piece interact around that 
around that shape that we would all assign the space. So then you can start to see how when you approach it, how does it pull you in and so on. So to have a show with so many variety of, of mediums is just perfectly fine. And it's, it's just part of the, the magic overall. Over here we have um, this photograph that um, again it's it has this it has this beautiful fall foreground. It looks like berries to me. I don't know, but then it just pulls us into the deep these deep colors back here. Is it a moment? Is it staged? Is it manipulated? I don't know. If if it was any one of those things, then good for them good for them. I love the fact that these branches back here are reflecting the light, where here we are caught in the, um, the cool colors of the browns and the deep reds. It's really lovely. I would, I would um, stand at this window and look, at, if this were a window, I'd stand at it, out of it, and live something beyond, beyond those trees. And that's the kind of narrative that I talk about when, I, when I'm seeing a piece how much, you see how deep, see how that just pulls you in those deep colors right through that. It's just, but it's muted, deep but muted, it's beautiful. And what place is that? This is um, third place. Okay. And then the best to show was a little surprise for me. Um, it's digital or um, digital photography, which, um, so it was a surprise. I really thought that it was um, probably inks but um, it's it was a show it's a showstopper, and it's surprising what effects you can create now. Yes, because I, that's not a medium that I'm familiar with. But when I say you know they're we, the, it's well done, painted, digitally um, um, altered, you know whatever. This is such a crazy strong piece. This would be a beautiful stained glass if it was a stained glass. It'd be beautiful ink, and um, I talk about um, tensions and pieces that pull you in. So I um, compared this, this organic material to standing at a fence, almost like barbed wire. Because it's this, all this stopped me right here. And what stops me then makes me plant my feet and then start looking beyond. And all of this color shifts. The, this, I just feel the, the, um, the, the, the weeds, you know, the amber colors and, and the cool colors as they come off to the side. And so it's almost like it's invited me to stop and look beyond. And I feel that, look at that sunset or not, whatever it is, the warmth of it is just, just draws me in. And it's, it's not that it's barbed wire, but it stopped me like a fence would. It just absolutely stops me and then I can just then I can just move on into it. And I don't even know what these things are in there, but they don't matter to me anymore because they they're so beautiful. They look like wheat. I thought Grass that. heads, mm -hmm. grass seed heads. Yeah. But, but what, what is this back through here? 